So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make a little video. I uh, am going to attempt to, these are Tri-5, uh, 55, 56, and 57 A-arms. I'm gonna extend them one inch and then uh, mold them. Um, but uh, right now I'm gonna start by taking the bars out, getting the bushings out of there. Uh, so that I can grind around the outside there uh, and get that lip off of there so that I can get it all molded uh, and make it look smooth. So first step, what I'm going to do, shout out to the old man at AutoZone. Um, I told him what I had and he didn't have a tool to rent to do it. Um, so getting these control arm bushings out, he said use an air chisel, which I happen to have, which was great, and undo one side at a time so I undid one bolt left this one in and then I'm going to go around this with the air chisel and then pop out one side at a time all right so when I did the second side um, you will leave that bolted on, pop it off, and then once it's almost all the way undone, uh, take that bolt off, and then this will pop off and slide all the way through. And then I just shot a little oil on it, put it in the vise, and now I broke it free and I'm gonna twist it off. All right, um, just gonna show you where I'm at on these A-arms. They're coming along fine. Hope y'all don't mind uh, me uh, just fast forwarding through some of the boring stuff like grinding, cutting, plasma cutting. I figured uh, no one wanted to see exactly uh, how long it takes, but it takes a little longer, but not much longer. Um, the prep work probably takes the longest. And let me go ahead and flip this around and show y'all. So I started right here in the middle. Um, just make sure you line it up here so that when you bend it around, um, it's not going all, it's not going far down or far up. Uh, then you'll be grinding and adding metal and all that. You don't want to do that. Um, when you make your templates, make sure you make them just a tad bit longer. Um, it's better to be longer and have too much metal. Uh, then have too little and try to be piecing it all together at the end. You don't want to do that, which I didn't, but um, I'm sure that would, could happen pretty easily. So there's where they look, or how they look so far. Um, I'll just uh, weld it together there in the middle, do look from both sides, inside and out. Then I'll weld up all the lines and, do, and then uh, put the top plate on tomorrow, weld the inside. And then uh, that's when all the grinding starts, which will be lots of fun. But so far, they're coming along good. Uh, not too shabby for my first set. Um, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure um, probably a lot of people, anyone with some basic welding skills and knows how to work a grinder would be able to do it. 
All right, got the uh, template all cut out here. So what I'm going to do is it will come down right to the bottom there. I'll weld it across and then smooth it out where the ball joint can still go in there. And then I cut them where it'll be coming right to the end. So after I weld this in, then I will put this down just like I did on the sides and weld that. And then I'll put a heavy weld going all the way down, a real heavy bead so that I can uh, grind it and smooth it off and make it nice and square. Um, and you should only have to do one template. So you'll cut out two of them, do one, use the same one for both of them and then flip it over and use it on your other side. So that's, that's uh, how you do that. Here's where I'm at so far. So you wanna start with your plate. Make sure you got it even just like you did with the sides. Uh, I tacked it on both ends. And now I will use the C clamps, clamp down this side, weld it down first. And then after I got both sides down, then I'll put a clamp on both sides and then start slowly clamping it down and moving my weld forward. That'll heat up your metal and it'll make it a slight bit easier to bend it down, but uh, not gonna lie, it's 3 16 and it's a little, <laughs> it takes a little uh, massaging to say the least. Um, at, when I got to the very bottom, I did use a hammer and I'll show you over here. Um, here's what we look like when we get it down. Right there. Um, I might need to go around the edges a little bit more to build up some material whenever I start grinding it down. And here's the inside. I've never seen anyone do the inside of them. So um, here's what they look, or here's what I did. I just welded it all up, uh, make sure I didn't, don't have any holes in here to give it strength and to make sure no moisture, or water, or anything gets inside of there uh, in the future and then starts rusting away and making it weaker um, down the road. But uh, that's where it's at so far. Um, I'm gonna weld around here, grind it down uh, smooth, and it should come out pretty good. But that's where it's at so far. I'll go ahead and shoot, sh shoot some shots of me putting this together here next. Coming along good. Um, I didn't bore you with me wrestling with the C clamps. Um, even with it getting hot, yeah, this side doesn't look as pretty because there was a lot more bending with it and shorter uh, lines that I had to do. But um, so now while it's still hot, I'll take the clamps off, give it a couple smacks with the big hammer to bend it down a little bit. And that way I can get that gap closed in there. And then, on the last one, 
I had to cut a little bit off this line here uh, so that I have room for the ball joints and it won't be in the way. Um, but that's where I'm at with it. And here we go. So with the grinding, I'm not gonna bore you with a, a bunch of videoing that, but I am grinding the top, then the sides, and then kind of rounding it off on the top there. That's how it's coming out, looking good. And I started off with a 40 grit flapper disc. I probably could have used a 36. Uh, and then I I'm switched to a 60 and I might go grab an 80 for the uh, very finishing of it. But um, coming out good so far. All right. <clears throat> well, those are a lot of work. Anyways, I think they came out good. 1957, 55 through 57, try five. Um, extended one inch, molded. There they are. Came out good. Uh, just wanna say, I appreciate everyone, all the new subscribers. Uh, keeps me making the videos. And I hope you enjoyed this one.